Hi, I'm Andy Mulholland with the Handy Andy Real Estate Experts, and thanks for watching our video blog. Today, we're going to be talking about the true cost of buying a home. The purchase price is just a piece of the puzzle, so we're going to talk about some other things you need to be prepared for. But before we do, we want to point you to a couple links on our website here. Uh, the first link is a tool that you can use to find the value of your home in today's current market. The second link is a home search website where you'll be able to find every home from every company. And we update this regularly, daily in fact, so that you have the most accurate information. All right, our topic at hand, the true cost of home ownership. Now, purchasing a property goes well beyond the purchase price. So just because you see a price online or a lender gives you a potential idea of your payment, did they factor all the costs involved? Now, are there some upfront costs when you purchase a home, like the cost of a home inspection, plan for three to $350, potentially the cost of an appraisal, uh, your earnest money that you'll have to put down as part of your down payment. You need to be prepared for that when you go to make an offer. And then your closing costs. Now, many of those things can be included in the purchase by asking the seller to pay a portion or all of your closing costs. But when you go to factor your payment, there's some things you want to consider. Number one, the taxes of the property. When a lender tells you you might be available or might be pre-approved for a $160,000 mortgage, what does that mean? Have they factored in the taxes into that equation? Number two, the insurance, same thing. Your insurance can be affected by whether or not the property is in a floodplain, uh, whether you have a wood burning fireplace on the property, or how old or what condition the roof is in. So those are all things that we have to help you look at to determine you know, potentially what your insurance costs are. When you factor in your monthly payment, we have what's called PITI, your principal and interest, which is part of your loan on the actual purchase price, but they also include on most loans, your taxes and insurance. And that all totals your monthly payment. You gotta be aware of that when you go to make an offer. The third one is the utilities. A lot of buyers fa fail to factor in you know, what the utility costs might be. When we work with the buyer, we look at the property and call those utility companies to find out what is those costs averaging the sell current owner of that property so you know what to budget for? Three things you need to be watching out for when you go to purchase a property. The taxes, the insurance, and the utility costs. I'm Andy Mulholland with the Handy Andy Real Estate Experts, and thanks again for watching. You can visit us and find more helpful videos like this on our website at handyandyrealtor.com. Thanks for watching.